all are having a blessed day. It is a rainy day here on the mountain. We are here with our next project and our next project is going to feature uh, this layer cake called Frankie by Moda Fabrics. And, ooh, it is delicious. I'll show it to you better on the table. But it is brightly colored. It has beautiful florals and I really like it. And I was starting to feel a bit like a one trick pony with doing nothing but potato chip blocks. I love potato chip blocks and I'm not done exploring them, but I really needed a change. And I've noticed that I've lost, not a lot, but I've lost maybe 10 subscribers. I guess they got tired of the potato chip block themselves, so they left. But anyway, I did check my analytics and I wanna thank you all so very much. I went from having 92% of all viewers not subscribed to 80%. So I want to thank you very, very much for that. And I do so appreciate it. So thank you all so much for that. I am going to get set up over at the cutting table and we will get started. We are going to be doing a stack and whack, kind of a crazy stack and whack. All right, here is our beautiful layer cake. It is called Frankie Basic Gray from Moda fabrics and it is simply delightful looks like they have some grunge fabric in here and all these fun bright florals there's some text there and here's a nice graphic one marble polka dots with hearts in them and oh i love that print here's some more grunge more polka dots so it's absolutely delightful there are 40 two pieces in here i think okay yes we have 42 pieces of fabric here there are some duplicates and i'm going to do seven stacks of six each so here are our stacks and we're going to start with one stack and i'm going to get my rotating cutting mat make sure they're stacked nicely We're going to make two cuts in each stack, but those cuts will be different. Okay, so we're going to start with a two inch cut. Okay, and now without moving the fabric, we're going to rotate. And now we're gonna line up the two inch along this edge. That is our first. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece here and put it to the bottom and this piece here and put it to the bottom. And then we're going to take two of these pieces and put them at the bottom. And now we're going to sew these together. We're going to sew this together, this together, and then sew those two together. Okay. Now this is two inch. The next stack, and I'm giving you all the information now because this is chain stitching friendly or chain piecing friendly. So if you want to get them all ready to go, I'll give you all of the dimensions now. The first stack is getting cut at two inches. So two inches off two sides. The next one is going to be two and a half inches off of each side. The next one is going to be three and then the next one will be three and a half. And then the next one, let's see, we did two, two and a half, three, three and a half. The next should be four inch, and then four and a half, and then five inch. So that'll take care of your seven stacks. And yes, I need to count on my fingers. What's six take away one? Okay, so that'll take care of your seven stacks. So two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, four and a half, and five. Okay, and obviously the five will just be making, you know. Mm -hmm. huh? Right in half. But those are the sizes. And once we get done with that, we will go over to the sewing machine and you will stack them this way that I've told you. And we will start chain piecing. Okay, I'll go one through one more stack with you. And you can just slide this over here. 
and we'll do our next stack and that should give you enough information to go pull out your layer cake separate them you want the you want the fabrics to contrast so you don't want to put if you have like four repeats in your four repeats in your layer cake you don't want those four repeats being in one pile so get a nice nice selection see now there's two of these on top of each other so I think what I'll do is I'll put that one on the bottom and just kind of scooch them back in line no And if they're not wanting to line up, just line them up again. And once you're happy that they're all lined up together, we're going to do this again. And I'm left-handed, so I'm starting over here. Most people will probably start over here, but I find that a little bit more difficult for me to do. So we're going to do two and a half inches for this one. And if you'd like some further insurance that nothing is going to slide on you, you can use your handy dandy dumbbell here. And we're gonna do two and a half. I can tell you that you should start with a fresh blade so that you can actually go through these pieces. Okay, now we're going to rotate this two and a half inches. So one, two and a half. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to change these. I'm going to put the first one down at the bottom. First one down at the bottom. And now we're gonna take the first two and put them at the bottom. And see, now you have nice contrasting blocks. So we're gonna stack those up. And we can do one more just so you understand what's going on. Ooh, I like that one. That's a pretty color. I do like grunge. I wish it wasn't so expensive. So we did two and we did two and a half. So now we're going to be doing three. And if things move a little bit, that's okay. Just line them back up. And now we're going to do three from this side. go that's three inch and we might as well keep on going now we're doing three and a half inch so that's one two three and a half and it's easy to realign realign them if they move a little on you okay so one two three and a half One, one, and two. There we go. That may happen with your layer cake too. You can always cut a 10 inch square from your stash if you don't want a repeat pattern in your stack. Now this one is going to be four inches. We only have two more stacks to do. Again, this is going to be four and a half inches. And if you always put your ruler edge right on the mark, so long as you're consistent, everything's okay. So if you're going to make sure that you can see the line poking out from the edge of your ruler make sure you do that on all of them and that way everything will be equal oh that's pretty okay and now the last one is going to be five inches so that'll be pretty easy to do we're just cutting it in half in both directions 
And now we're just going to go right down the middle of both of them. Okay. And that's a different colorway, but we can go down three to try and avoid that. Or we can switch. Just really. So now that we've played around with the stack to our liking, if when you're putting these together, you come up to a match that you don't like, just switch it out. You might want to just make your matches before you start sewing. Okay, so that is the end of the cutting instructions for this. Okay, YouTube, so we are done with our cutting. We will be going to the sewing machine with our stack and we'll be sewing them together. So please do come back next time for the next video. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I hope that God blesses you today and always. And I'll talk to you real soon. God bless. Good night, Elizabeth. Good night, Campbell.